Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I have been wanting to make a video like this for like the longest time ever. I'm like obsessed with like hygiene routines and like shower routines and like hair care and skincare routines. Like I like to know what people are using because sometimes I never really know what to use myself because after a while I get old of like a certain product where like I run out and I'm like, oh, I want to try something new but I don't know what to use. But So it's like kind of like a, I guess you could say it's a struggle trying to find new things to try and also because i also just like to know what, what makes people smell really good because there's nothing better than like a nice smelling aura or like my favorite thing to tell people is like oh my god you smell bomb like you smell so good and i feel like it's the kind of compliment that you don't really hear that often so i like to give it out as much as i can so i have a few selections that i took out of my bathroom to kind of show you guys what i use on the daily or just frequently as well so i guess we're just gonna start from like hair down to my feet i'm not gonna do like when it goes like my hair and my skin like my face um i'm just gonna show like the cleanser and the shampoos and i actually forgot my sh no i didn't i got my shampoo um and not go into like you know the creams and all that because that's like a hair care routine and like a skincare routine like there's like those there's that kind of video made for that and also i feel like it would just take way too long so i just have like the cleaning part of those routines here with me and then I'll link below um, I think I have a skincare routine on my channel and I'm not sure if I still have a hair care routine I think I might have to update it because it's been a really long time or also because I don't like the products that I'm using currently because I want to get new ones but yeah okay so without further ado let's just get right into it okay so starting with the head uh, with my hair I actually go in with the OJX shampoo and oh this is really bright I'll have to put another clip um when I show you the product but I go I go in with the OGX shampoo argan oil of Morocco shampoo and um and then I go in with the Aussie um moisture I think I, I'll just go get it I don't know why I didn't grab it with me all right so I have this shampoo and I also have the Aussie miracle moist that's the name the miracle moist conditioner um these products are all right um they're just cheap so that's why I use them and also when it comes to like shampoo and conditioning I love this shampoo this conditioner it's like really really nice when it comes to like detangling but when it comes to shampoos I don't really care that much I probably should but I don't but for now this is what I'm currently using so next going on with like the face so in terms of like cleansers, I kind of go in with two different types of cleansers depending on like what I'm going for or just what I feel like using. First, I have the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. I love this cleanser. I used to use the gel version. I still have like a bottle of it, but I had, because I bought two. I bought this one because this was new at the time. And then I got the gel cleanser because that's what I would normally use. That's what they had before this one came out. And I actually prefer this one more than the gel one because for me, whenever I want to wash my face, I want to feel like there's actually a clean to it. Like, I want to feel like and look like I'm actually cleaning my face. Because sometimes with, like, the gel, it's like, are you doing anything? Like, I know you're doing things because my skin has been, you know, working and, you know, functioning well. But it's like, are, are you doing anything? Like, I want I want I want you to show me. I want you to prove to me that you're doing something. And also because this is really good for, like, removing my makeup, I don't really use makeup removers or um, the most I use is probably, like, micellar water and, like, an eye makeup remover, which I do have one that I will show um, next. But this does a really good job. Like, if I do have makeup wipes or, like, I do use like kind of like a milk makeup remover I'll use that first but honestly I could really just go with this and this will be fine like I guess I could just use this as like a final step when it comes to re removing makeup but if I'm just wearing like mascara or like concealer this is really all I really need to do um yeah this is really all it takes to remove my makeup and it's like if I were to take like a makeup wipe afterwards it's like clean like my face is literally stripped clean but it's still moisturizing okay so i really really like this one and then i have the cerave salicylic acid cleanser now this is just um if i like have a breakout or if i feel like i'm breaking out after like if i'm wearing a lot of makeup that day and i don't want to like risk it clogging my pores or anything i'll just go in with this just to make sure that i get an extra deep clean and that it's like also medicated so that my skin has that like good good extra help just to make sure that like it doesn't create anything that we don't want it to create and then when it comes to eye makeup i use the simple eye makeup remover now i swear by this when it comes to removing like mascara like eyeshadow like anything like this is literally like my favorite thing ever like when i wouldn't use 
like this I would go in with this and this was literally like a lifesaver it also comes in handy when it comes to like removing like lashes which I'm wearing right now because the way that I put my lashes on is by putting glue on my skin and then I just like place it on and sometimes it doesn't like the glue will stay and it'll be really really stubborn to remove so I just go in with this to kind of make sure that it's all gone and it really does a good job like I'll just use like a q-tip and then I'll just kind of rub it on the lash line and then it you know goes away okay now on to like the mouth area so I use two different types of toothpaste depending on like what I'm really feeling or whatever is you know available to me so I go in with the Arm & Hammer sensitive whitening toothpaste because since I do have sensitive teeth um, but I still want my teeth to be white I like to go in with this and also because it's like baking soda because the Arm & Hammer brand also makes baking soda it does a really good job to whiten my teeth and I also go in with the Sensodyne um, toothpaste which is just you know your typical run of the mill toothpaste for sensitive teeth and then I also have a toothbrush cleaner I don't know why there's hair on it I think it's because it's on my bed it's just your run of the mill like tongue brush or tongue cleaner you just like scrape your tongue with it like I like to do it after I brush my teeth because um, I'm really really conscious about the smell of my breath in my mouth and I don't want to be like around people and like gross them out with like bad breath like I, I get really really con like self-conscious about that it's still you know I think it's just about personal hygiene so especially if you're like near people like family members and like friends you don't want to like gross them out with like your bad breath so I always make sure to clean my tongue with this bad boy and it does the job it really does the trick moving on to like body stuff my favorite body wash ever is the dove deep moisture body wash i used to use a sensitive skin because i used to get a lot of like breakouts on my skin but then once i kind of like toned down i switched to this one both of them are like really really good this is the one i currently have it doesn't make me feel like i'm coming out of the shower and i'm like strip dry you know it does the job it washes my skin and it keeps me moisturized after i leave right it it's like hence the name deep moisture body wash right when it comes to like cleaning like the nether regions like you know the lady bits i actually been using okay don't mind the box but it's like all busted and broken because i haven't used it in a while okay so this is just the cerave hydrating cleanser bar you can use this on your face um i don't use it on my face because i have like the liquid version of it but i like to use it around the nether regions mainly because since i like to use bar soap because i can like really rub it into my hands and then kind of like get in where it needs to get even though yeah in the shower i'll like get into like in between my thighs and all that but i feel like with this i can really get into like the nicks and like the crooks and crannies and make sure that like it gets a nice clean because you feel grosser than you want to be feeling I guess nobody really wants to feel gross, right? Um, so yeah, this I really like. Or honestly, really any good like Dove bar soap is really good too. I know a lot of people like to use the Dove sensitive bar soap to clean. Um, I don't have that on me. I just have this. But if I were to pick between those two, I would go for the Dove bar soap because those are really really nice. So I just first got into uh, exfoliating and like making sure that I, I get soft skin because I've been like really really wanting to get into that so I use the body prescription vanilla almond body scrub I just got this at winners it was like eight dollars I was like okay well it smells good it smells really good it does the job love it can't go wrong with like a good exfoliator I do really want to try the dove body polish and the tree hut one I think the dove body polish body polish is in similar price range to this one but yeah once this is done i'll definitely try the dove ones um until then this is this will do comes to shaving i actually use the as like a shaving cream i use the ojx argan oil of morocco conditioner mainly because i don't really use this and i want to get rid of it because i've been using this one instead on my hair um, I don't want to waste it, so I've just been using it to shave. And it does the job. It really does, you know, what it needs to be done. Um, um, so for my razor, I actually use... Oh, okay, it's cool. You won't really be able to see it close. I use the Joy Gillette razors for women. Um, I really like it. It's, you know, a simple razor. I'm not really into, like, the fancy schmancy razors. Like, it is a reusable razor as well, so you can, like, throw out the top and like put on a new one it actually comes in like different colors i i don't really know what else to say about a razor it's a razor right it doesn't like cut me like unless i put too much pressure but then again that's like 
any razor I feel this is a really good one so when it comes to like body lotion I only use one I only need one and it's this one right here it's the Vaseline Coco Radiant lotion this is literally like my Die hard, my favorite. Like, you can't go wrong with this lotion specifically. It smells good. It keeps your skin moisturized all day. Like, it's also my only lotion, so I really don't have anything else to like compare it to. But I've tried the lotions in the past, like Stay Knives. They don't, like, they're really thin. Like, this is like a nice thick lotion, but it doesn't feel like it's heavy. So it's like thick enough where it'll keep you moisturized, but it's not like thick where you feel like you're rubbing it in forever or you feel like you have a layer of lotion on your body. You know what I mean? Okay, my camera like just died. But we're literally just the end. I just have like three more products to show. So when it comes to like deodorant, I don't use deodorant. Um, I use antiperspirant because I'm a sweaty, really sweaty girl, especially in the pits. I can't use like aluminum free, just deodorant. Like I can't, I can't use those because I will literally be, I will literally gross you out on a hot summer day. So I have to use like these kind of deodorants for like men, the highest percentage of aluminum possible. I'm sure like I'll try to dive into like the aluminum free antiperspirants, but until then, this is what I'm using. So this is the degree, the men degree motion sense antiperspirant. It does the job. Like literally I could be on a hot summer sweaty day and I won't be sweating. Like it'll, it'll, it really, like I, like I love this thing so much. Like, like for me when I sweat, I smell. Like I sweat and smell, it goes hand in hand. If I'm sweating, I'm going to smell. So this has really saved me, especially when it comes to like working out or working sometimes because I easily sweat and when I sweat, I smell, right? Things like this come in hand to prevent me from being around people that I don't know or don't know me and like stinking up the place because then I start feeling really self-conscious I'll like go into the bathroom and try to like dry my pits but it just doesn't really work but ever since using this this has been a lifesaver I'm never going back to deodorant ever again like this is my baby like I like this th this literally saved me from smelling bad all the time kind of like in the same area of like smelling good this isn't really like hygiene but it's just like make myself smell good um so i just brought two of my favorite um fragrances i don't have perfume i don't have perfume money so the first one i have is the sol de janeiro pistachio salted caramel fragrance now this smells so good like i don't know what it is it's just like such a sweet warm scent and i like those sweet warm scents like i feel like it goes well with like my body chemistry i don't really know how that works it also lasts a pretty long time but since i always like to smell myself smelling it i always put extra throughout the day and then the last thing i have here is ariana grande sweet like candy perfume um i mean fragrance mist now this is literally like the sweetest lightest girliest like pretty girl scent you can think of it smells so good like sometimes i'll mix it not with this one but with my other um i mean fragrances where it's kind of like has that like sweet tone to it and it just like smells really really nice a little bit does last me the whole day or like most of the day but i also like to carry it with me to like spritz it on as i go because i like to smell myself smelling good so i think i've shown you guys everything that i use to clean and make myself you know not smell dirty and gross to other people um, i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe um make sure to follow me on my instagram it'll be all linked down below and on the screen i hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day and i'll see you guys all in the next one bye